in the last week, you're in the Mount of the Brecon Beacons and your weight starts at 35 pounds. <coughs> 35 pounds plus your water, plus your food, plus your weapon. Um, every day that increases by five pounds until the fifth day you're carrying 55 pounds plus your, equi plus your other equipment. If you condense the whole week of five days, it's the equivalent of doing six marathons over five days over the mountains with weight on your back uh, with nobody to help or push you, getting to various checkpoints and then pushing yourself on. It was cold, it was wet, I was going through miles of tussock grass with 50 pounds on my back and I kept falling over. The Bergen had ground over the, over the previous two weeks, had ground two great big sores in my lower back around the kidney area and they were bleeding so I was bleeding down the back of my legs. And uh, I knew, I started to think about the following day. I started to think, oh, this is how it feels today. I've got 40 miles to do tomorrow. And that little worm ate away at my confidence. And um, I finally turned around and went back to the previous checkpoint um, where they had to unstick my shirt from the uh, scabs that had formed in my back with the blood and then treat me there, which probably carried some weight to whether they kept me. When I look back on selection, I always look back on it and think, oh, it wasn't that bad. And then actually when, you, when I sit down properly and look back at it, it was, it was horrendous. It was relentless, you know. The first bit, you know, when you do the phase one, which is the, the hills phase, um, I just remember it was in the winter and I just remember waking up in the morning at like maybe sometimes half four, half five. It's dark outside, it's raining. You've got to walk to the shower block or the toilet block anyway. That in itself is a task. And then you've got to come back, pick up your Bergen, which weighs a ton, put it on your back, walk down to the car park, stand around in the rain and the dark, waiting to get told your name and which vehicle you're getting on. You get back onto the back of a four ton truck and then you drive a couple of hours to where you're going to start the days. You're basically walking with a pack on your back for hours and hours and hours. And you're on your own as well. It's quite a lonely, lonely part of the course and you're left to your own devices. You're just expected to navigate your way around the Welsh hills and make the time times that are dictated. There occasionally, uh, during the route, somebody with a set of scales hung on a tree who will test your weight to make sure it's adequate. Um, if it's not, they could fail you or they could put a big brick in there or a big stone in there to make you carry more and show it again at the end of the march. So it was always the right weight. Um, probably 10% past that phase. Then you go on to continuation training. 